Okay, so I'm going to be going over a quick review of some unsteady uh, diffusion for your exam. So first off, I'm going to start off with unsteady diffusion in a finite media. And um, the first example I'm going to show you is one where the geometry is of a slab. So for instance, if you had a slab of tissue being put in a, a bath of um, glucose, for instance, um, at some certain concentration, this is what would uh, this model would apply to that um, biological situation. So the slab again is um, much taller than it is wide, so that most of the diffusion into the slab will be 1D diffusion going in to both sides of the uh, main diffusion will go into both sides of the slab. You won't have to worry about any diffusion coming in um, from these directions, at the top and bottom. So to set up our slab. We're going to make the coordinate system where um, y equals 0 right in the center of the slab and then the half thickness of the total slab would be y equals L. Um, again, the solute, uh, for instance glucose or whatever it may be, um, outside the slab will uh, say it's C1 and this again is diffusing into the slab in both of these sides. So first of all, let's uh, look, think about what our governing equation would be to figure out what the diffusion would be um, into the slab so that we can figure out our concentration profile within the slab over time. To do this, um, we can uh, use fixed second law. So this is unsteady diffusion um, in rectangular coordinates and you can see that there's no convective terms or uh, reaction terms because this is just going to be simple diffusion. Um, so this, this equation here is a partial differential equation because concentration is dependent upon two variables, both time and position. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit trickier to solve, but we'll work through that in a little bit. So now that we have our governing equation, to be able to solve these differential equations, we need to set up boundary conditions as well in this case as initial condition because um, concentrations also depend upon time. So the first condition, the initial condition, what is that? Well, any time before uh, time reaches zero would be your initial condition and we're concerned about again diffusion into the slab. So I set up my conditions between y equals zero and um, the surface on this side L. I didn't go from one side to the other because we're really only worried about this half thickness here because what's happening on this side will be the same what's happening on that side. So before time uh, reaches zero, the slab has initial concentration of C naught. Um, in a lot of problems or situations, the uh, slab or the tissue or whatever you're thinking about could have an initial concentration of zero, and that's what I originally had here, but I decided to go ahead and give it C naught. So C naught again is usually um, a variable used for an initial uh, concentration in a slab, a sphere, or whatever you may uh, be looking at. So that's our initial condition. So one of the boundary conditions is that whenever time is greater than or equal to zero, um, one of the boundaries that we want to look at here that I've chosen is the center of the uh, slab, because again we're really only concerned with the half thickness. So at y equals zero, the uh, concentration gradient is equal to zero. How did I figure that out? Well, due to symmetry, that uh, at this point right here, again, you have diffusion happening in both directions. So any any uh, time here, the concentration, say at this point right here, um, will equal to the concentration at this point here. So um, dc divided by dy should always be equal to zero right along this uh, line here due to the symmetry of the geometry. Our other boundary condition, which is going to be at y equals L, is going to be that concentration will always remain um, at C1. So at this surface, the concentration will always remain um, at the bulk concentration of the solution, which will be C1. So these are our governing equation and our boundary conditions used that we can solve uh, this equation and figure out the concentration profile through uh, this slab. Uh, one of the things that um, is very helpful is non-dimensionalization of the variables. 